if you are eating these five vegetables, no matter how hard you diet, you are not going to be able to see your abs. You eat healthy, you work out, and you still seem to have like this layer that covers up all that pretty muscle that you were working so hard for. Because there are so many healthy foods that give us all the nutrients that we need. However, they are working against that lean look that we want. So knowing what foods these are, knowing when to eat them and how to eat them can having us looking pounds thinner, feeling great by the weekend. My name is Terrell and I am one of the coaches here at Beyond 40. And in the past nearly 20 years, I have helped hundreds of people lose thousands of pounds, get healthy and transform their lives. I absolutely love this. I'm 52 years old and I am not ready to give this up. So at the beginning of each week, I have most of my coaching calls and this is so fun, but often our conversation turns to, especially with some of the newer clients, how they gain four or five pounds over the weekend. They are so mad at themselves. They're absolutely livid. They think that they put everything back on that they lost during the week. And now that they have to start all over again, and it is just not true. It is nearly impossible to gain that much fat in a short amount of time. Does your scale go up? Probably so, but it's likely due to inflammation and bloat, not fat. If you consider that pound of fat contains about 3,500 calories, if you were to gain five pounds, that is 17,500 calories in excess. That doesn't even count the stuff that your body would normally use up every single day. If you count that, you're talking about consuming nearly 20,000 calories in just a couple of days. Nearly impossible, nearly impossible in a day or two, probably very difficult to do even in a week on vacation. And I'll tell you what I've tried, <laughs> I really have. So put your mind at ease. Your scale may have gone up, but it is not fat. It is inflammation and bloat. And we are going to get to the bottom of this right now. So you can get rid of it in a day or two back on track and meeting those goals. So if you have a little bit of extra fat that you would like to lose with the bloat, I'm going to go ahead and link our over 40 hormone reset diet in the description because we can help you with that too. Okay, let's dig in to this bloating problem, the foods that cause it and how we're going to get rid of it quickly. And I'd like to start with face bloating. Like when your face gets just puffy, it's usually most likely due to dehydration. When you begin to be dehydrated, even just a little bit, your body starts to hold on to water. And the first place that it stores it is in your face. The funny thing is a lot of people kind of go about their lives with a mild case of dehydration every single day all day long. You have puffy face, even if you don't realize it because you're so used to seeing it and getting rid of that little bit of puff in your face is going to make you look pounds thinner without really doing anything. You see, normally our kidneys are extracting and getting rid of eliminating all the water and the minerals and everything that we eat. But when we don't drink enough water and our kidneys really don't have enough to kind of do to get rid of it signals to your brain that, Hey, there's a problem down here. We need to start saving some water. And so your body starts to hold on to it. In the first place it stores it is in your face. Crazy, right? So drink a ton of water. That's the first thing. And you will really see a difference in your face, not only in the puffiness of your face, but when you are properly hydrated, your face is going to look so good. It helps get rid of some of the wrinkles, the dry skin. Even if you have a little bit of acne going on, drinking a lot of water has a big effect on your face. This could also be due to too much sodium. I'm not talking about salt. I'm talking about sodium, sodium without potassium and magnesium. Sodium attracts water to it. The potassium and the magnesium stop this from happening without them. The water actually binds to the sodium and it makes you feel puffy and not just in your face, but like your fingers, your whole body, you know, the feeling, and this is normally caused by eating bad foods. I'm talking about like hamburgers, French fries, pizza. You definitely know the foods I'm talking about and also due to alcohol and even worse, bad foods with alcohol. <laughs> but I have a quick fix for you for that when you get home. So take some cream of tartar, which has a ton of potassium in it, and it's going to start to balance out that sodium so that it can unbind the water from it and you can actually let it go. 
Also, the cream of tartar, it doesn't really have any flavor, and so you can throw back that glass of water with the potassium in it, then throw back another glass of water, and I promise you will totally be able to get those rings off before you go to bed. But then I want you to make sure you keep yourself in kind of a balanced sodium situation. So I want you to stay away from sea salts, and I want you to use Himalayan or what's called truffle salt, which is amazing. It tastes so good. But sea salt, because it comes from the sea, can have bits of plastic or plastic residue in it. And those plastics are one of the easiest ways for us to ingest what's called xenoestrogens without us even knowing it. And xenoestrogens can throw your hormones off so badly. This type of estrogen actually puts fat on your belly. It doesn't really put it anywhere else, mostly just right on your belly. And plastics are a huge cause of this in our world. So stay away from this and in the end of this video, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to link a video about your belly fat hormones because there's a lot of information in there that I think you will enjoy. Now let's talk about stomach bloat, which is completely different than the bloating due to the dehydration and the sodium because this has to do with your digestive system or your gastrointestinal tract. Like when our bodies have a hard time breaking down certain foods, there is a particular group of foods called FODMAPs, and they are very difficult for our body to break down because they have a sugar in them that we do not have the enzyme to break down. And these foods are ultra healthy. We need to keep them in their diet and our diets. And ironically, this group of foods is part of the group of foods that helps stabilize our hormones. These are asparagus, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower, my personal favorite, cabbage. I love these, but we don't have an enzyme that we need to break these foods down completely. So they get through us and they kind of settle in our colon, making us have that big like food baby. So in order to avoid this, or if you're trying to get rid of it, you want to make sure that you cook them. So you don't want to eat them raw and you don't want to eat them like al dente because that's not really taking care of that sugar in there that we can't break down. But if you cook them and I'm talking like cook them to death, just by the way, I'm really good at cooking lots of things to death, but that is a story for another day. Anyway, cook them, cook them to death. Start to break down that sugar so that it goes through you much, much easier and you won't have the bloating that is due to that lack of that enzyme for those foods. Also, sugar alcohols, very big deal. Sugar alcohols, our body can not digest. And these are sugars, they taste sweet and they're like xylitol and sorbitol. And so they're in foods like diet candies, diet soda. They're also in packaged foods that are like treats for diet. So like if you're eating keto snacks, check the label. If anything says xylitol, sorbitol, or even if it just says, and a lot of times it does, it just says sugar alcohols, stay away from it. You cannot digest it and it is going to make you feel bloated and distended and it will for sure make you unable to fit into your pants even though you have not gained any fat at all. Okay, let's wrap it up with the quickest solutions because getting this garbage weight off can take pounds off the scale and it can have your clothes fitting good, you looking great in just, in just a day or so. It gets super fast, but this is an ongoing problem and kind of no matter what you do, you can't really get rid of it. And please, I hope you stay away from laxatives and like skinny teas because they're gonna help you for a minute. You know, they can cause long-term issues down the road. So go see your doctor if this is a long-term ongoing problem, but what I really want you to do is drink more water. Such a big deal. Drinking more water is gonna take care of almost all of these things before they even start, okay? Also, stay away from foods we have a hard time digesting, especially when you're trying to get rid of bloat or try to get rid of that food belly <laughs> or food baby belly. And these are foods like legumes, onions, broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage. And if you do eat them, just make sure you cook them. Cook them very well so you can start to break down those sugars. Also, Foods like wheat, gluten, dairy, those artificial sweeteners again, we do not have the enzymes to break these down. So go easy on these and let everything start to move through you. Next, I want you to get your blood moving. This is essential for getting all of the gunk out of you. So I want you to do gentle cardio, no jumping, don't go crazy. We just want you to get that blood moving, add in some lunges and some squats. So while you're doing it, you can actually activate the muscles around your colon, your lower intestine, everything. And that's gonna help push everything through 
And again, drink more water with this because you're moving, you're activating everything. Let's just flush it out. So I hope this helps. Anyway, like I promised, I'm going to link the over 40 hormone reset diet in the description so that if you have a little bit more fat that you want to lose along with the bloat, we'd love to help you out with that. It is down there. And I've got that video on the hormonal belly fat over here. Go ahead and click that super interesting information in there. And thank you for sticking around with me today and I'll see you next time. Bye.